we are living in some amazing times. We are in the midst of one of the greatest moves of the Holy Spirit ever seen upon this earth. This truly is the supernatural life. Body of Christ, it's time. Come here to receive something that you're going to take to your family because it's much bigger than just this, all right? This is only a little inch of the whole thing that God wants to do. All right, we only see in part, we prophesy in part, right? God only gives us segments of the vision of our life, little things, little fragments of it, and we watch it manifest more and more as we walk in the things of Jesus Christ. So a lot of people go, and this is for somebody, how do I get into my call? How do I get into my destiny? It's really simple. Get saved, repent of your sins, obviously. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and this is the part people stop at. They don't start walking it out. They receive the Holy Spirit, they receive a touch from the Lord, and then the enemy comes in and hits them in the head and tries to steal away what God has done. Do not let the devil steal what Jesus does in your life today, okay? If you get healed, guys, it should not leave. Do you understand that? When Jesus heals you today, hold on to that healing and glorify him. Ten lepers walked away, one came back and gave Jesus glory. It's when you glorify Jesus through what he does in your life that you see the manifestation of what he wants to do in your life magnify. Amen? Amen. 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 Seriously, man. So that's my heartbeat. I know that you're here because of what you see on the YouTube channel and all that stuff, and you see what God's doing through my life. I am only an example of what he's supposed to be doing in your life. Amen? Amen. It's bigger than me, man. It's way bigger than you, too. It's bigger than the church you go to. It's bigger than this movement. It's as big as Jesus is and he's everything man you know he has no end and no beginning he just is he is the great i am amen so just think about that and that same i am is on the inside of you so if the creator now, now catch this because this is going to be a big thing on getting touched by the holy spirit if if you accept that the creator of all of this of the oceans the air the, the skies, the sand, right? If that creator lives on the inside of you, should you receive your miracle? Yes. Should you receive your deliverance? Yes. Should you receive your healing? Yes. Exactly. Amen. So today, accept that Jesus is in you and accept that he wants to permeate every inch of your being. He doesn't want you to live in the same way. He doesn't want you to walk in the same mess, man. You know, cycles and all that stuff, man. Let the cycles die. Don't hold on to that stuff. I talk about this all the time. Don't live the same. And know this, some people make their problems so big that they love it. Don't love your problems. Love the one who took the problem away. His name is Jesus Christ. Don't accept when Jesus delivers you today or heals you today. Don't accept the lie of the enemy that your problem or the enemy is too big in your life. And the, sometimes people will go, oh, I got a demon that's too strong. I go, you're crazy, man. There is no demon. I don't care if it's yeah. Satan himself. Yeah. He cannot stand against the power of Jesus Amen. Christ. That's right. So I don't know what the enemy's been talking in your mind, that you have something that's too strong, too big. If you believe that, then when we pray for you, that's going to hold on. Yeah. But if you release that lie, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get radically set free Hallelujah. by Jesus Christ, man. So just remember that, guys. Don't listen to the liar. When I come and pray for you or somebody comes and prays for you, be open, man. I don't listen to the enemy because Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and they will not listen to the voice of another. Whose voice in your life is loudest? Jesus' voice should be the loudest voice that speaks today. You're here to receive an impartation. You're here to receive a grace that you didn't have before. You understand? Some of you are already moving in it just by joining in with the movement, okay? Because the anointing flows, right? Some of you are already seeing an increase in your life by being a part of what God's doing in this growth in the earth, right? Well, how much more? What did Paul do? Watch. Paul came to the Christians. Most of you are Christians. All, most of you, right? All of you, I hope are Christians. The only reason the apostles came to the Christians, Paul said, I come with a desire to stir the gift that is inside of 
you. Today, I am here to stir the gift that is inside of you. So I believe when I lay hands on you or one of the forerunners lays hands on you, what is on the inside of you is going to be stirred. And you're going to go from glory to glory and from faith to faith. If you want to work in words of knowledge, if you want to work in prophecy, if you want to see mass healings, if you want to stand on a beach like this and preach to many and see many people saved for Jesus' glory, man of God, then guess what? It's going to happen. The same anointing that was upon Jesus Christ can rest on all of you. Can we accept the truth today? Yes. Yes. Can we accept? Woo! Yeah, man. Come on. Jesus! Woo! Yes. And look, let me tell some of you this too. I'm a man of a crazy past. If he can use me, trust me, yes. he can use any of you. Some of y'all can't even touch the story I've been through in my yes. life. So you're all right. It's some of you, some of you have been way worse than that. And that's okay. If David can kill a man and take his girl, you're good. Right? Nobody's killed a man, I hope, and took his girl. You're going to be all right, man. Jesus is going to do awesome things, man. He's going to deliver you from anything, anything that you want to be delivered from. Some of you have probably witchcraft curses on you that have followed your family for years, and you're like, why can I not move forward? Why am I stuck in neutral? Why can I see the increase in my life? Well, it's because mommy and daddy did stupid things, and you just haven't had the light shined on it yet. Today, some of you will have that light shined on it, right? And, some, and when the light shines on the darkness, the darkness has to flee. Amen? Be very transparent today. Be transparent in your heart. Don't care what you've done in the past. Don't let your past talk to you. If the past is talking to you, the devil's still alive in your life. Amen? Amen. If people are around you, they bring up your past and it still condemns you, let it go, man. The devil's biggest weapon is to keep you in a condemned state and believe you're not good enough for God's promises. You see? You are good enough. You are worthy. Ladies, Amen. one of the things I notice with you ladies is you have a problem with worth sometimes because daddy or husband or whoever has not taught you that, has not showed you worth. I'm here to tell you today, you are worthy of the love of a father. Amen? Amen. Amen. Men, some of us didn't get the emotional comfort and love of our fathers that we were supposed to get, so it built insecurities in us and made us do things where we had to prove something to somebody. Guess what? Today, Jesus Christ is going to show you a good father who accepts you, loves you, is okay with you, is going to back you up, says, good job, I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of you, daughter. You're going to hear that I'm proud of you. I feel like that right now. Some of you out here have been needing to hear, I'm proud of you. And today the Father says to all the men out here, I'm proud of you. Amen. Why is he proud of you? Because he created you. He created you. The Bible says as the sands cover, uh, as the sands are here, how many thoughts he has for you is as the sands on the earth. If you pick up, watch. You see all that? What is that? That's nothing to what God thinks about you. Look at all these sands, man. It says his Amen. thoughts outnumber the sand the sea, yeah. for you of the sea. It has, look at all this. Look at the sand, That's man. Crazy. It's so much. <laughs> this is not, this isn't even the sand on the earth. That's how much he thinks of you. Wow. That's how many thoughts he has for you. Wow. So we got to ask ourselves as a church, what's wrong with me? <laughs> you know? So today we're going to believe. We're going to believe that Jesus is alive. We're going to repent of our sins, man. The things that have been holding us back. You know, the way you become to repentance is you go, Lord, I don't want it, man. I don't want this in my life. It don't matter if you're five years old or a hundred years old. All you got to do is say, I don't want this, man. So many times people hide things because they're ashamed. I meet them every day all over the world. Same story, right? Same song and dance. They're scared that if they reveal what's going on in their life, that, that they're going to get in trouble. That's how it is. That's a lie from the devil, man. Jesus has grace. His grace will cover you, heal you, restore you, and empower you to become who you're supposed to be. I only preach this message because I had to learn it myself. Amen? Amen? So do not feel ashamed today. There is no guilt, shame, or condemnation to those who are found in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jesus, guys, is alive. And he's about to fall in this place. Right here in the open air, man. You know? Jesus has took, listen now. 
Jesus has taken the church outside of the four walls. Amen. We're not in the four walls. We're out here in the beach for everybody to see. Amen. We're out here today telling the earth that Jesus is alive. When they're trying to oppress us, they're trying to hold us down and say, church, shut up. We get louder, man. This is the time, guys, the moment the church shuts its mouth is the moment the enemy wins. We have to be loud in this hour. We have to let the world know we will not stop. We will not compromise. We will continue forward no matter what the government's telling us. We will not be, hey guys, sorry government. We serve God before your rules. We're going to worship our God. You will not shut our mouth. Amen. That's how it has to be in this hour, man. We have to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We will not bend the knee to man or to, or to the government. We will bend our knee to God only. And God tells us to worship him in all things. All things. And even if we're in shackles and chains, we'll still worship him, man. Even if we're walking to the end of our life here on earth, we will worship him until the very end. That's what the apostles did. And that's what we need to do in this hour. But also, guys, if there's somebody here that does not know Jesus. Now, here's the first part. I got to give people an opportunity to know Jesus Christ, right? Many of you do know him, but many of you don't. Here's the pure gospel, man. Jesus Christ came and lived a life that you could not live. He, if you read the Old Covenant, you see Israel royally screwed up and the characters in the Bible royally screwed up over and over. Israel said, give me a king. The king failed. Everybody failed until one man came into the earth, anointed by God, God himself, Jesus Christ. 100% man, 100% God, all in one flesh, right? He said, I have to come. I have to leave heaven to get my people back. I have to give them the perfect sacrifice that they've been missing because they keep looking at everything else. He came and walked the perfect 613 laws out to a T, right? He walked it out. Not once did he sin upon this earth. And then he said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the sin of mankind on my back. Every sin that could ever be committed, I'm going to go to that cross. I'm going to lay on that cross and I'm going to die for everybody, for all sins, right? And I'm going to forget their sins as far as the east is from the west. And my love will cover a multitude of it all. So what happened is Jesus went to the cross. He was, he was crucified for all of us, rejected from, uh, from everybody, even us, right? He was taken off the cross, buried for three days. Why he was in the grave three days, he went to the devil and said, Hey, homie, keys. Right now, and the devil's like, no. He's like, I created you. Give me the keys. Thank you. And then he came back took that body, went to heaven, put it on the mercy seat that's bloody today, man, for you. <clears throat> Do you understand? That blood is on the mercy seat today, just pouring out for the sins of all mankind. Can you realize that, man? That's how much he loves you. That blood is amazing. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you as white as snow. What can wash away? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That's right. What can make you whole again? The blood. Amen. That's what's going to happen today. And then what did he do? He said, I'm going to pour my spirit out upon them after they accept what I've done. That free gift of salvation. And then I'm going to empower them the same way that I was empowered on earth. To heal, deliver, to raise the dead even. And it heal sickness and disease. I'm going to give that to them. And then he poured that spirit out upon all flesh, man. To those who wanted to receive it. And those who are said, I want it. They got, they received it. The book of Acts, right? You look in the upper room, they received that free, that free thing called the Holy Ghost, man. The baptism, the coming on of the Holy Spirit, right? Came on them, and what happened? They all started to look just like Jesus, right? That is here today. That is the gospel. He has saved you, healed you, and sanctified you, right? Amen. Saved, healed, and delivered. That's what he gave you on that cross. Today we accept it fully. Some of us may have said, I know Jesus, but a lot of people really don't know Jesus. They like the saving part of Jesus, but not the Lordship part of him. Amen. Amen. Today we accept him as Lord. We give him every part of who we are. It requires repentance. It requires dying to that old lifestyle. Amen. It requires saying yes fully to him. That's the gospel. That's what Jesus wants today. He says, repent, turn from your sins, look at me, and you will have rest. All you of heavy burden, come to me and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Yes. So come on, man. That's Jesus, man. It's a simple gospel, man. People try to overcomplicate it and go into these deep revelations and stuff. It's so simple. Paul said it's the simplicity of Christ. 
I claim this was Paul, right? The writer of the letters. I claim to know nothing but Christ and Christ crucified. So much so, he said, as a, as a, as a Pharisee, that he learned everything. He said, I counted as nothing compared to the riches that are found in Christ Jesus. It's simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't become a slave after Jesus has set you free. Become a slave to freedom. Amen? So, what I just said is the gospel. You have Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins and receive the gift of God, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen? That is what we're preaching today. That is what we believe in. The full gospel. The full gospel. Not the half, not the 50%, not the denominational gospel. No, we believe in Jesus, man. I don't care what denomination you came from. It's Jesus, man. This denomination talk needs to die. It's always, well, you got to this, you got to that. No, man, that is not what Jesus said. He wants his body to be one. He said, I desire you all to be one as I am one with the Father. Amen? Amen. So today we become one together today. Amen? Is there anybody out here who does not know Jesus Christ, man, who has not received him as Lord and Savior? You? Yeah. I mean, a little bit. I don't know, man. Hey, man, if you got doubt in your heart, receive him, baby. Come on. Is there anybody else? You do not know this Jesus, man. It's going to honor you, baby. Come, girl. Right here. Anybody else does not know Jesus Christ, man? You want to turn. You know that you're struggling. You know you're suffering, man. Come. Jesus is alive, man. Okay. All right, we're ready. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, come on. This is the Lord, man. Forerunner, you led the way. We good? Anybody else? We're all good? Nobody? I'm just checking. Now look, amen, brother. Come on, man. Come on. This is so good, man. All right. So here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to lead you in a prayer, but this is not your typical sinner's prayer. You understand? This is not raise your hand, close your eyes, accept Jesus. No, everybody's looking at this moment. Everybody needs to see this moment. This is us saying 100%. You're saying 100 guaranteed yes to Jesus. Use me, Lord. Set me free. Heal me and fill me with your Holy Ghost. I'll put all the junk on the ground. Amen? Amen. And when Amen. you say that, the Holy Ghost will fill you. Then we can, if you want to now, we'll go over there to that nice little calm island over there in a little bit. And we will dunk you really nice. Yes. So, it's going to be good, man. Amen. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say yes. What's up, God? God bless you, man. We're going to pray. I'm going to pray. Church, you're going to agree with me for these people. All right? And we're going to believe God's going to do it. Already start it right here, and then we'll we'll work our way around. Amen? Amen. Do I have certified forerunners out here? Come here, Portia and Tom. Uh, Tom? Portia. You too, man. You're, you're the husband. <laughs> One flesh, baby. I need y'all both working together. Come here, certified forerunners. You're about to be, right? I am. You are? Yeah. Come on. I need help. Certified, certified. Okay, I'm going to put y'all to work in just a minute. Just wait, all right? I'm ready. All right. And I know some of y'all are on the way to be certified, so it's fine. I might put y'all to work anyway. <laughs> because it might get messy. All right. So guys, say this for me today, okay? Now look, we're doing Acts 2.38. We're, receive, we're repenting. This is true repentance. If you're not wanting to truly repent, then it's okay to step back. But if you're here because <clears throat> you want to die to this world, then you're in the right place. Okay? And watch this. Don't think about what you need to do after this moment. Be led yes. by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Don't go, am I going to mess up after this? It ain't your concern. It's Jesus's. Amen. Amen. A lot of people don't know that. They go and they try to be perfect. You can't. So listen, you cannot be perfect in your own strength. You've got to be led by the Holy Ghost, man. 
Are you going to play the Romans 7 game? The things I try not to do, I do them anyway. We're Romans 8 in it today, guys. We're going to be led by the Holy Spirit who leads us into all truth, man. I don't wake up every day and go, am I going to mess up? No, I just wake up and say, "Woo, let's go, Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and if I make a boo-boo, guess what? He goes, no, no, no. And I go, you're right, you're right. You know, and then I just don't do it. And I not mean big boo-boos. I mean, like, I got a little angry or something. I say, all right, yo, you're right. I'm here. Done with it. You know, stay in a place of conviction is what I'm saying. Not condemnation. Nobody here is condemned. Okay? Okay. Say this for me, guys. Say, Jesus Christ. I stand before you today. I stand before you today. And I ask you. Save me. Save me. Heal me. Heal me. And deliver me. And fill me. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I lay them at the cross. The finished work is for me. I receive my inheritance as a son and daughter of God. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for doing what I can. You're that good. And I accept that today. So, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Thank you for making me, for making me your, home. your home. Today, Today use, me. Use, use me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Today you're saved. <laughs> Today you are receiving the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for each one of you now. We're going to baptize you in a little bit if you want to be. And I'm going to pray for you to receive the Holy Ghost. If you truly repent it from your heart, I'm going to lay hands on you and the Holy Ghost is going to come. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Church feels down. Some of you are going to get delivered, man. I mean, straight up delivered from demons, man. And some, and some of you are going to get filled with the Holy Ghost. It's going to be crazy, man. If nothing happens, something happened. Yeah. <laughs> All right? <laughs> yeah, catch that? Yes. I, feel, I didn't feel nothing. Oh, you will. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to honor these guys and what they did. Let's be in agreement for them. And then we'll go into the healing, deliverance, and all that stuff, okay? We're, we're full gospel in it today. Amen? So Amen. you guys just hang tight. I'm going to pray for them, and then we'll release for that, okay? Okay. You're here? Yeah. You said the prayer? Yes. Amen. I need a... Uh, yes. Can I... I need a man, a strong man. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I need some catching. Yeah. Amen. You ready? Ready. Father, Savior. 